Yo, what it is, guys? Your boy Raw Jay Z. So we're back at it again with another video. So for today's video, we're gonna be building a motor. If y'all it was ever like OG subscribers, y'all know I had a Joe frame, took the motor apart, and I have problems with it. But for today's video, we're gonna be doing a full billet rod, billet flywheel, cam, and all that for this motor. This is for the Joe frame. So yeah, man, let's get into it. But hey, man, this video not if like I'm not gonna make this like a full tutorial. I'm gonna show y'all like. To put in the piston in and all that other stuff, but if y'all like these type of videos of these type building, like me building motors, uh, let me know in the comments so I can keep them going like that. You feel me? But yeah, man, let's get into today's video. Hey, yo, Jimmy. mission is we're gonna take the head off the motor like i said i already got the springs and this is a flat top piston this is an upgrade from a stock piston with a stock link connecting rod you feel me stock crank and all that governor remove you feel me nice little you know decent little block nothing too crazy i got the car manifold guy i used to already run his head before but you feel me joe bike gave me problems and i took it apart so first thing i'm gonna do is take this head off of the motor Let's get to that for tomorrow. Sure. All right, so I had to, you know, put the camera down and take the head off. I couldn't do it by one hand with the impact because the impact got too much, you know, power to it. But yeah, man, we got the head off. Um, I recently honed this cylinder, so you feel me? You see the cr nice cross groove. I try to get the best of these little scratches out, but none of these scratches are getting picked up on my nails, so that's a good sign right there. So if the um, if ever if um scratch ever get caught up with your nails, that's how you know it's too deep of a gash. So you might have to change the block or you might have to board board the motor over. But I was able to you know make it smooth as possible. So yeah, man. First thing first, um. I'm finna go watch me a YouTube video real quick. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all because I do not know the rotation of these rings. And this is what the problem I had. Figured that out on my last motor. So yeah, so I'm finna look on YouTube on the warehouse website or something and see which way these rings go. You feel me? So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so basically found the guy that I need. He, he What he said to do the piston, that's how I did it. So yeah, man, what you're gonna need is a ring compressor and some oil. You feel me? You're gonna get your ring compressor. You're gonna get the oil. You're going to lubricate the inside of this. And you're going to um, lubricate the inside of your cylinder wall. That's basically about it. Um, bam, bam, bam. You feel me? Like, you putting lotion on. You ever, like, put lotion on? You, you make sure, you know, you're not ashy. Make sure that that little ring compressor is not ashy. You feel me? You don't have to be scared with the oil. You can use oil or you can use assembly lube. It's all up to what you want to use. But I'm using... This oil right here, you feel me? This is what I use, and I got a bunch of it, so, you feel me? It don't even matter. Skirt, you feel me? Get some on the rings. Just like that. Um, Get the little hard side. You can use the soft side if you want to. Hit the, the side of it, you feel me? You feel me? Hit like that to get the soft side. Hit the top of the piston. Just like that. Bam. You feel me? Something easy slight. You feel me? Nothing too crazy. I'm finna uh, cut it right here and get my phone. Right, so the next thing, since I got the crank right here, we're gonna take the keyway off. And I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I've been, I've, I, this is my first time like even taking out the keyway this easy. There's a lot of times I mess up the whole keyway. This is the first, like, I swear to God, this is the first time I ever took out a keyway this easy. Cause I, as I can see, it looked like I tried to take this thing out before, but yeah. Um, all right. So after, you know, a little bit of wiggling, we got the crank in. So you just gotta rotate it onto the rod. You feel me? You saw how easy it just slipped on there. I put it. I, hey, like I said, people build motors different ways. I just, you know, choose to do it. I guess this way. So we're gonna get the bottom piece of the crank. 
All right, so I found them. You want to dip these things in oil, you feel me? Just dip the, um, put the, um, uh, about to twist these boats in. So for the rod, you need a 1-4 12-point socket. You see, I got all these little teeth. This is like a special socket for these rods. And I'm not mistaken, cars take these same ones. But yeah, don't quote me. But yeah, man. All right, so next step is you need to get your, your um, flywheel. You need to get you some of these, some of this. Valve grinding compound, you feel me? Just lever that up on the little rod with a little flywheel right here. I keep saying the same wrong thing. The crank. You feel me? Get you a little nice little finger. You feel me? Bang. Everything off good. Make sure you clean the groove in the flywheel and the groove on the, uh, on the crank. So I didn't so want to bore y'all. So basically, we got the motor all together. I just got to put the head on, but. I'm gonna put the head on probably tomorrow. We're gonna probably slap it on and see how fast this motor goes. So, but if y'all like me like doing the build series and stuff like this, like building the motors, just let me know in the comments. I'm gonna keep them going or make them longer or make a full tutorial on how to build one of these. But they're common sense. It look like I need a gasket looking at it. But yeah, man, thank y'all for tuning in. We'll be back once we get to the miles per hour test. We to me. Or if this motor even runs. But yeah, man. All right, so great news, Joe Motor. Look, finally pull over. Look, finally pull over with no problems. So basically, I guess I had the piston. The piston rings matter which way you put them. Put put one ring, the top ring on the left side, put the, the bottom ring, the second ring on the left um, right side. You know, just Mitch Michael on each side. But yeah, man. Um then I um bought me some more filler gauges because I listen about using my other ones. And they never brought them back, so I just bought me more filler gauges with like more numbers on them. So yeah, man, filler gauges really you need them to make sure your valves are correct, cause this is what um, controls the compression on the motor. So yeah, man, we gonna probably slap this on the drill frame. We are gonna get it running. All right, so this stuff been sitting up for a minute. We got a brand new throttle for the drill frame, and we got a brand new clutch for the drill frame. Cause I have to steal the clutch for my mini bike. So yeah, man, we finna um. Slap the motor on, just like my little workbench, you feel me? But yeah, man, you know, I'm proud of myself. But yeah, but next thing, one of these blocks is going to become a race motor, so stay tuned for that. All right, so that's going to be the end of the video. So basically, I didn't have no gas line, so I can't hook up the gas to the bike. Then the, um, the back wheel wobbling, I'm going to show y'all a clip, but if y'all follow me on Instagram, bike life underscore Brian, y'all can see behind the scenes a little bit. But yeah, man, thank y'all for tuning in, and peace out.